This is the actual first place that I learned how to fly fish. I came here and practiced every day for about, oh, eight months before I caught a fish. You have to actually think about the time of the year that you're on the river and you have to look at how the bugs present themselves to figure out what fly to put on. And they may might be a terrestrial, might be a caddis, might be a mayfly, could be a stonefly. But they say that if you can catch a fish on the Delaware, you can catch a fish anywhere in the country. And I believe that. Lots of rivers have been disrupted because communities think that if they straighten it out, they won't get flooding. In actuality, what it does, it increases that problem. You straighten them out, it goes faster. And the faster it goes, the more damage it's going to do. You have more velocity and it scours the bottom, it removes the bugs, and it increases flooding as opposed to decreasing flooding. Rivers have to meander to stay healthy. We modeled using high-tech imagery to really look at how flooding happens here on the Neversink and how with a berm like this, how that alters that flooding. The berm is like a wall next to the river. It's a barrier. It doesn't allow the flooding flows from the river to expand out over that floodplain. We want the water to be able to expand like it naturally should. By getting rid of these berms, we're creating a whole new floodplain habitat ecologically. We also know through modeling that by doing this, it helps to decrease flood risk to our communities that are downstream. And here we are today, reconnecting this river to its floodplain so that it's a much more natural ecosystem that will flood, that will store water, that provide benefits for wildlife and habitat, as well as for people. I truly believe that if you introduce someone to fly fishing, you have started the seed for a conservationist. Everybody all of a sudden realizes how important the river is, how important the amount of water that you have in the river, the bug life. Wetlands are very important to the environment, to the aquifer, and to the health of the river.